D-Day. We are going to bring onions in today because they are ready. We got the weather that we've been looking for. Some cool weather. It's been dry. Got some stacked up in here already yesterday. And we got a hired truck today. We're gonna hit it hard. Checking out trucks. Gonna grab a couple quarts of oil. One, two, three, four. pretty good once you get some sun on them they'll feel better still have a little dew on the boxes and uh, around them so they're not as crunchy sounding but pretty good things are shucking up good so we're going for it we got good weather now tomorrow they're calling for not good weather we're gonna haul a lot of onion today and put them inside. Here we go. digging around feeling for moisture just feeling how these things are coming in make sure they're running consistent try to get your hand down in the middle of the box because that's where it's gonna be the dampest or the wettest is in the center feel around pull an onion out see how it shucks if it shucks good feels dry then yeah we're doing good this is what we've done so far today. And that's how far down it is. Today is another beautiful day and we are bringing onions in. Um, it's from a, another location where the onions were stacked and harvested to our building where they will be stored for the winter. So we are hauling them about I'd say it's about 15 miles from where that location is where they are stacked and to where we're storing them. So we brought onions in the other day, got a driving rain that got the boxes too wet. They had to dry out, got good weather yesterday. So today we are going again back at it. Today we're bringing in our red storage onions. These are a Bejo variety called Red Carpet. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's nice and crunchy, just the way I like it. That's what you want to hear and that's what you want to see. Nice dry leaves. So this variety is a good onion for us. 
uh, we grow a few of them. Just a handful. They are a long day growing onion and a long term storage onion. So we will have these onions that we harvested in the beginning of October. We will have these sold by end of March, beginning of April. Along the way we will be selling them, but they will store that long. Red onions tend to not store as good as yellows. Just length of time they get softer and they start to grow again. Let's cut this onion open and show you what it looks like. That's a good cutting, good hard, firm storage onion. That's the characteristics and qualities of a storage onion. The rings will be denser. It'll be harder. Obviously it's gonna store longer, but we can't grow all long day storage onions. We grow some shorter day varieties that do get sold earlier. They're just as good tasting, but it's the storability of them is, is the biggest difference. In the shorter day onions, they are able to be harvested earlier. So that way you can harvest in stages instead of having everything ready at once. It takes a couple weeks to get through all the acres that we have. So that's about a pound of onions right there. This whole box is about a thousand pounds. So this is how we store our onions. That doorway lets air in. That hole in the ceiling lets air out. Circulation fans in the corner. It just circulates the air in the building. It takes all the air and just keeps mixing it. So whatever air comes in through the doorways, in through the bottom of the onion, and goes up, those fans kind of just push it out of the corners and hopefully to the middle where the air will go up through the chimney and out. Our optimum temperature for storage is 35 to 38 degrees is where we keep the buildings. We don't run heat. We rely on Mother Nature the days that we get a cool day in the fall and get some air that we like. We let that in the building and then the days that we don't like it, we close the doors down and keep the air that's in there good and keep it circulating. So that's how we store onions and that's how you can store onions too. You don't need a 70 by 150 building to store onions. It's the principle of keeping the humidity down, the temperature and direct sunlight are all three things that you gotta watch out for when storing onions. There's Stan. Stan's cleaning the floor. Nice work, Stan. Keeping the barns clean. He tracked dust and dirt in with uh, all the trucks coming in and out. This morning we are going to bring in our Bradley and finish off this barn that we started yesterday, get that full. Move on to the one we left on last night because we try to group all the varieties, keep them in one barn as much as possible. Hey, if you're ever wondering what Santa Claus does in his off season, <laughs> right there, he drives onion truck. How cool is that? Am I on the nice list or naughty list? Oh, nice, nice list? Yes. All right. You heard it directly from the man himself. This is going to be our last load that's going to fit in this barn. That's it for this building. It is packed full of yellow storage onions. The start of day four of bringing onions in. We've hauled in a good two thirds of our crop. Today we'll be down to our last 25%. So it's going fast. So a higher truck that we have has made a huge difference and has been very consistent and helpful. So I'm gonna do some maintenance this morning on our forklifts and get going. Game day. <laughs> So we are bringing in our long day yellow storage onions now. And they feel and look good. Nice and dry. This is something that will definitely hold up into April. Um, yellows tend to store longer than reds. We usually send these to market 
that we can sell them at any point, but we'll keep them as late as April. But this is a beige variety. It's called Hamilton. This is a nice hard yellow cooking onion. Stacking them the same way as our reds. Got a little air gap here. It's dark, it's late, and we finished. This barn is officially full. This is where the onions are gonna sleep for the winter. Night, night. See you in a couple months. So we've got this barn almost full. This is why it's so important to stack these boxes over each corner post on the pad because when you stack them that high to the ceiling, if you miss one of these corners and it sinks into the box, that whole thing could come over and it'll twist and wreck the box. So that's why it's so important to do a good job on the pad at the speed we need. Get close. So we finished filling our last barn and it is packed full and we still have boxes outside. Not that concerned about it. The weather coming looks good, so nothing's going to happen to them bad. But within the next couple weeks, we're going to have to find a spot for those boxes that are outside. Our big crop makes a lot of work and it's a good problem to have, but you know, getting it all to fit and getting it all out the door is the next challenge. Subscribe, like, and share for more videos like this one.